It may not get the national pub, but on a year-to-year -year basis, this is one of the more productive positional units in all of college football. It's defensive line at Utah. We bring in our friend Shane Roberts from Block U to help us sort out another strong defensive front expected this fall for the Utes. Shane, it's always a pleasure. Uh, defensive end Hunter Demick, uh, seven tackles for loss, three sacks last year, and you've got a good group uh, again at D end. Yeah, Hunter, obviously, um, uh, two years ago, coming off double-digit sacks last year, really just couldn't get healthy for most of the season. Um, he, he tried to battle, but he just couldn't quite get on the field. All intents and purposes, he's ready to go going into this coming season. Um, he's pretty much the captain of the group, um, no doubt in my mind. Uh, he's followed up by Kylie Fitz. Um, Kylie will be on the other side of the, um, the line of scrimmage. Um, Kylie is the proverbial edge rusher. Um, he's just a nightmare for so many, uh, so many offenses. Um, really long arms, loves to bat down balls if they're up, uh, if he can't get to the quarterback. And he's just a terror transfer from UCLA a couple years ago. Um, so it's nice to, to take one from the Bruins and kind of use them against them. Um, uh, also on the outside, you got Pita Talamoy Penu. Um, just a speed rushing, pass rushing extraordinaire. Um, kind of similar as Kylie, but a little bit more. He's going to go get the quarterback. That's his job. Not much else as of right now. So, um, and a name to watch out for on the defensive ends um, is Chris Chris Hart, um, a Florida guy that's coming in redshirt last year. But for all intents and purposes, he's making a lot of noise and is moving up the depth charts as we go into fall. Star as he became known around college football because he had that kind of name recognition, but also because of his last name, difficult to pronounce, ha has a younger brother who's uh, also a pretty good player in Lowell, Lowell Tutelele. I knew I was going to butcher that, Shane, but uh, I don't pronounce these names every day like you do. But uh, can, can you set us up at D-Tackle, uh, starting with uh, Lowell Tulele? Yeah, Lowell is... Um... A lot of people think he's actually better than his brother, and his brother was, you know, first round NFL draft pick. Um, he's big, he's long, he's strong. Um, he's probably a little bit better of a pass rusher um, than Star was. Star just would take up three blocks. Um, a little similar, but he'll get after the quarterback probably a little bit better. Um, he'll definitely lead that defensive, uh, the defensive tackles. Um, then you've got uh, again, kind of an embarrassment of riches. You got. Uh, a guy coming in that couldn't quite get on the field last year, uh, Pasoni Tassini. Um, he was a JC transfer out of Snow College. He's a guy that should get pl plenty of run. You've got Filippo Mocofisi. Um, again, another guy that's just going to take up blockers, um, really get after the quarterback and try to you know, you know, shut down the run quite a bit. Um, let's see here. Max is too pie. He's actually a real big time <laughs> recruit that, um, uh, that, a lot of people, at least on the West Coast, were after, and Utah was ecstatic to get him. He'll probably get some run. And, of course, uh, you also have Lecky Fotu. Um, USC was after him hard. Um, and this should be – he will really kind of – again, he's not going to start, but he's going to get some run in terms of what he's going to be able to do in terms of, you know, backing up Lowell, Filippo, Pasoni, um, the whole group. So that this is really just a run-stopping group without a doubt to allow to free up the linebackers to be able to do what they need to do. Yeah, you ran down to pie, you ran down hard to pie, according to ESPN, 33rd ranked defensive end out of Murray, Utah, 2016 class. So he's a newcomer Hart uh, in the 15 class out of Florida, 64th ranked uh, D end. Uh, it's a good group. Utah playing uh, defensive line uh, like few others across the country year in, year out. And uh, I think this group's going to, keep up the pace. Uh, Shane Roberts from Block U helping us uh, break down the D-line uh, for the Utes. Thanks a lot, Shane. Thanks, Mark.